Hey everyone, it's CJ Beats. We're back at it again today. Today I'm going to show you guys a plugin by Baby Audio called Super VHS. If you're a fan of making your beats or songs sound a little bit more retro and giving it that lo fi feel, this is the plugin for you. Let's head over to Logic and I'm going to show you how I use this plugin. All right, before we get started, let's take a look at the features that this plugin has to offer. So it has six unique one knob effects inspired by the VHS era. Static, static noise generated by an internal synthesizer. Heat, analog tape saturator inspired by consumer grade tape machines. Interesting. Shape, sample rate reducer inspired by the 1980s 8-bit samplers. Magic, widening effects inspired by the Juno chorus, but darker and deeper. Very interesting. Drift, pitch fluctuation LFO, unpredictable time and pitch shifting. That's probably where the sauce is with this one. Bad Hull Reverb, inspired by budget-friendly 1980s rack units. I have a beat right here that I just made. It's sort of a Rod Wave type uh, instrumental, I would say. It's got a piano, some saxophones, and some hard-hitting drums. The idea I had for this one was routing the piano and the saxophone into an auxiliary channel, putting the Super VHS. Let's have a listen to a few bars of this beat, and then we'll go ahead and add the plugin and see what it sounds like. Okay, great. So I'm going to go ahead and send both of those to bus seven. Now I got a new aux channel and I'll call this aux channel Super VHS. Now I've brought up the Super VHS by Baby Audio. And uh, just as a quick overview here, you have a mix. Uh, so you can basically blend the dry signal with the wet signal. And we're going to keep this at 100%. This is your output. I'm assuming this is at around zero dB right now, but you could play with that too. Here's that heat knob, which adds that saturation we were talking about. Here's that drift knob we were talking about to add that fluctuation in pitch. That's going to be really nice, I'm sure. The wash is going to add a bit of a reverb to it. Down here, we have the static, which adds sort of a static noise that we're familiar with from old VHS tapes. And then you also have the shape. So let's go ahead and start working with these and also incorporating that magic button and see what happens. So the first thing I'm going to do is add a bit of heat. Nice. It basically adds some saturation and distortion. Probably keep it around this area right here. Let's add some of that drift as well. And solo it out. There's like that subtle detuned feel. Let's find a balance that works. That magic button, crazy. Now that we've incorporated the heat, the magic and the drift, let's see what happens if we add a bit of this wash. Find a balance. Maybe we could add a bit of the static noise. See what happens if we add the shape. This is sort of like that 8-bit sound. That's not really what I'm looking for in this particular beat, but I could definitely use that in other beats. Let's have a listen to it with the drums now that we've added the Super VHS on the instruments. That's really where the magic is with this magic button. Crazy. Let's do a little bit of A and B testing here. What I'm going to do is turn off uh, the Super VHS and let you hear it with the drums, the instruments. We'll let it run for a few bars and we're going to turn it back on for a B test. Let's 
turn it back on. Oof. Really brings a lot of character to the instruments. I really like that. So as you can see, Baby Audio's Super VHS is a great way to add that retro feel to your tracks. I would highly recommend that you add this to your arsenal. If you have any questions, comments, whatever it might be, add those in the comment section. Don't forget to hit that like and that subscribe button, as well as the bell so you're notified anytime we drop some new content. My name is CJ, and I'm out. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.